Hi to everybody, I'm Mauro Martini from San Remo. Today it's rain, we can't go outdoor for recording this intro. It's the same. In this lesson we're going to demonstrate the effective usage of two of the three types of modulate short delay effect, that is flanger, phaser and chorus. Many thanks to Francesco Giordano who played the guitar that you hear in this lesson for his time and the great advice that it sends to me. Right now, there are a number of audio effects based on a very short delay, like comb filter within you get a serious notes to the frequency spectrum, but it's aesthetic. The goal is to put those notes in motion. For do it, we need to, dim to modulate the delay, shorter delay. We slowly change the delay time, which gives it a nice kind of wash of sound that smooth back and forth. What we do is make it do different things in the left and the right speaker. In this lesson we take a guitar mono signal and make it sound very big and wide as both speakers do different things. The effects that make up the modulated short delay are flanger, that is a comp filter in motion by a low frequency oscillator. Phaser, a series of deep notes that move differently in the left and the right speaker, giving us a swirling stereo effect. Chorus is a multiple detuned copy of the same signal, slightly shifting the pitch in all of them differently in the left and the right, so you get a much wider sound. They are a lot of fun and they have a great usage in a contemporary mix. In this lesson we go to see flangers and choruses. Let's go to the dub. Flanger is a comp filter in motion by a low frequency oscillator. Flanger's delay can be adjusted with the delay time control feedback control sends part of the output signal back to the device input while the polarity switch plus or minus sets the polarity. Delay time and feedback can be changed simultaneously using the effect XY controller. Periodic control of the delay time is possible using the envelope section. You can increase or decrease the envelope amount or in invert its shape with negative value and uh, then use the attack and the release control to define envelope shape. Flanger contains two LFOs to modulate the delay time for the left and the right stereo channel. The LFO have six possible waveform shapes. The extent of the LFO influence in the, in the delay is set in the amount control. LFO speed is controlled with the rate control which can be set in terms of hertz. Rate can also be signed to the song tempo and set the meter subdivision. Uh, the first control lends the sound stereo movement by setting the LFO to run at the same frequency, but offsetting their waveforms relative to each other. Adjust the high pass control with cut low frequency from the delayed signal. The dry wet control adjusts the balance between the process and the dry signal. Now, let's see uh, the song without uh, a flanger, then uh, with a flanger. <laughs> Now I put up the flanger, as you see we can change uh, the lead time and the feedback for a different setting. Fantastic, for this guitar I think it's a good setting, the song is in the, in the hair and you are in the room with a guitarist. Choruses consist in multiple detuned copy of the same old signal slightly shifting the pitch in all of them differently in left and right so you get a much wider sound. This chorus effect uses two parallel time modulated delay to create a chorus and then flanging effect, flanging effect. Each delay has its own delay time control calibrated in milliseconds. 
The light one has a high pass filter that can remove low frequencies from the delayed signal. Greater high pass value lets only very high frequencies pass through the delay one. The delay two can switch among three different modes, where off only the delay one is uh, audible. In fixed mode, only the delay one's delay time will be modulated, and when in this mode is activated, the delay two will uh, receive the same modulation as the delay one. The modulation XY controller can uh, impart motion to the sound. The feedback control determines how much of the output signal feedback into the input. The dry wet control adjusts the balance between the processed and the dry signal. In my setup, I try to remove some low frequency to get a cleaner sound, so I try to give depth to the music by cleaning the modulation rate, and a small delay does not alter the sound. Let's hear. No. We apply. We can change the I pass. And a second delay. Very well. Right now. Work well with the delay functions, make your work great. Take the time to understand how does it work. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day. I go to play my bass.